What's going on guys, I'm Marty back at the end with the weekly Rust Skins videos. And as we can see, we have an interesting week this week. This is what the top sellers like looking like on um, this week's store. We have the uh, Tempered Poncho and Bandana at number one and two. So let's get started with the clothing. We'll get started with the Pixel chest plate and the Pixel face mask. Of course, it's a metal face mask and metal chest plate. Both going for $2.95 each. This is the continuation of the Pixel set. We've already had the hoodie, pants, boots, um, and the bandana accepted in the game um, and they've all increased in price today because the Metal Gear is obviously coming out. So we don't have a kilt as you can see so that pretty much means that the uh, kilt will come out at some point probably either with the road sun gloves or with the full collection um, and we'll continue with the coffee can once the coffee can helmet and the road sign chest plate is made for it. So. I do see the pixel set continuing is what my point is. Um, we've already got uh, made money off of the pixel hoodie, pants, pixel bandana, and the pixel boots. Um, so that's all of the clothing thus far. But the um, hoodie and pants really only have made you more money because of course the metal face mask and the metal chest plate have just come out today. So of course that means they're gonna spike and they have indeed spiked. So. Overall, I think that's going to be the same thing with the Pixel uh, face mask and chest plate. If you buy it now, um, then I think it's pretty much going to sit at this price until um, the kilt comes out and until the road sign um, uh, vest and cuff again helmet comes out. That is assuming that they're going to release it with the full road sign kit instead of the just the um, gloves, the road sign gloves and the boots. So. I mean, we've already had the boots, what I'm even saying. So, um, overall, I think the Pixel face mask and chest plate can make you money. $2.95 each is uh, more expensive than the standard store price for clothing and armor, um, but I think it can make you money. So, overall, I will recommend investing in the Pixel chest plate and face mask off of the Russell Lemon store for this week. All right, moving over to the Tempered Bandana and the Tempered Poncho. The Tempered Bandana is going for $2.85 and the Tempered Poncho is going for $3.55. Um, and overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in the Poncho. I'm just going to say it now. And that is because we've, for some reason, we always get Twitch drops of Poncho skins um, for that. So that's one reason. But secondly, we've already got popular um, skin collections uh, made for Ponchos. So we've got like the Blackout for example, and that is probably around about $3.40, something like that. And of course, this tempered poncho is uh, above standard store price and is going for $3.55. We do know that this tempered um, collection has been successful, but the blackout set has been more successful in my opinion. And the poncho, I think, is going to reflect um, the performance of the tempered poncho. So I'm assuming that the tempered poncho is going to sit around the same price as the blackout poncho on the Rust Adam store. The blackout poncho is below this current Rust price of $3.55. So overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in the tempered poncho. I do think it looks quite nice. I actually think it looks sick, but I'm not going to recommend investing in it off of the Rust Adam store. If you want to invest in it, I'd recommend getting it off the community market with a buy order. The tempered bandana. On the other hand, we've only got three pages of bandana skins. One page is basically all just the face punch drops like um, and just cheap crap. Um, and the other two pages are above $2.95. So the tempered bandana, it could be a better investment, um, but I think you could pick it up off of the community market with the buy order to maximize your potential profits. And overall, I think it's going to be a long-term investment. So overall, not going to recommend investing in the Tempered Bandana off of the Rust Adam store, but if you want to pick it up off of the community market, then that is what I would recommend to do. That wasn't your Discord, by the way. You don't have any friends. Don't check. Right, moving over to the weapons. We have the Copper L96. This is, of course, the continuation of the Copper set. We've had the Road Sign Gear, we've had the Metal Gear, um, and we've had an AK. So the AK didn't perform well. And I don't think that's a very good indicator on how the weapon set for the copper set will go, um, especially when an L96 is uh, a lot harder to get than an AK. Of course, L96s can't be crafted. They can only be obtained via um, elite crates and stuff like that. So overall with the um, elite crates, I don't think they can even be obtained from there. Like, you know, loot boxes, what are those? The locked crates, that's what I was talking about. Okay, so um, anyway... $2.95, cents. 
I actually think it's hard to say, okay, because we have so many AK skins, so I do think that that's a hard starting point. Plus, I'm assuming that the copper AK probably got oversaturated. I don't really remember exactly um, how many are on the community market at the moment. It does show you that the copper set for the weapons doesn't have a very high demand, but there's you don't really get L96 skins accepted very often in the game, and I do think that people that are going to be wanting to buy an L96 skin would find um, the police L96 appealing, um, especially the like role players or the Zergs as well. So $2.86, uh, 85 cents. I do think the copy L96 actually won't, wouldn't be a terrible investment and picking up as a play skin, I also don't think you would lose money. So um, overall, as a long-term investment, I think you probably will actually make money off of this, but as an investment in general, I don't actually think you're going to make that much money off of the copper L96. So if you're not going to ever use the L96 in game um, and you don't have a very big wallet, then I wouldn't recommend getting the copper L96 because I do think it actually will take a while to make money. Um, you could also try and pick it up off the community market with a buy order for a little bit cheaper than the Rust Sutton stores price, but $2.95. Honestly, I don't think it's a terrible price um, on the Rust Sutton store. And I do think that you can make money off of the copper L96, but... I don't think it's going to be anything too crazy. All right, moving over to the Rare Flame MP5. I've gone for $2.85. This is a new skin, and I actually think it's, like, pretty unique. I think it's quite cool. Um, don't know who the skin creator was that made this one, but I think the skin itself is actually sick. There is no ADS screenshot, um, and you guys know how I like my ADS. I do think that that is a worrying sign. Um, judging by just like the uh, handheld, just, you know, standard um, grip on the MP5, it doesn't look like the ADS iron sight, front iron sight is colored. And I do think that that is not a, a pro, definitely not. $2.95 though, sounds to a price. I do think that the Rare Flame does have potential of becoming a set and continuing in the future. I think it's actually a really cool looking MP5 skin the more I look at it. And I do think that the weapons in the future could be cool as well. This also being the first um, skin of the set, if it does become a collection, um, of course does mean that it can go up in value more because I do think that the uh, quantity would be lower than the next couple of the rare flame um, items if any more gets made or accepted so $2.95 it is more of a gamble this one um, I don't think uh, mp5 skins lately have been performing that crash hot um, but I'd recommend trying to pick the rare flame mp5 up off of the community market with a buy order if you are to invest in it but picking it up as a play skin honestly I think you probably make money off of it anyway um, and I'd also recommend checking the workshops uh, skin creator and then checking to see if they have made or are making any more rare flame um, weapon skins because if they are, I'd recommend picking this one up. Overall, I think the iron sights are probably going to be pretty um, crap on this one, the uh, ADS, but uh, it is what it is and there is potential for improvement in the future with the rare flame skins. So if this does become a set, then hopefully the iron sights are improved and assuming that they're actually not good. And um, I think that the Rare Flame set could actually become pretty successful. So $2.85 overall, I recommend getting this one off the community market with a buy order than the rest of them store. As I said, do your research and check out and see if they're continuing um, with the skins. All right, moving over to the Ruin SAR, going for $2.85 is the continuation of the Ruin set. I'm pretty sure we had an AK skin. I can't remember what else we had because honestly, this is a pretty forgettable uh, skin set in my opinion. It actually is really well made and it is actually a sick looking skin set. But I just, I don't know what it is. For some reason, I just don't think this is a very standout skin. I think it actually looks sick. So it sounds like I'm dogging it hard, but I just don't think it's going to have demand. I think the skin is well made. I think the quality of it is actually quite, quite high, but... It just, I don't think that it's like a pro, like suitable for Rust's skin um, uh, enthusiasts, we'll say. So overall, I don't think the Ruin SAR is going to have any demand. It stands to a price of $2.95, so it's starting at a good price, but I just don't think it's going to have demand. 
So overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in the Ruin SAR off the rest of them store. Okay, and final weapon, we've got the Thompson Nana. Of course, it's a continuation of the banana set that we keep getting in. The EO car is not a part of this set, so don't write about that in the comments. Don't ask about it. The EO car is not a part of this skin set. Okay, so overall, the first um, banana skin from this set that was accepted was the bow, and then um, I can't remember what else we've had since then, but... The other skins are above their current price, but only by a very small margin. And the problem with this one is, for some reason, Face Bunch has decided that they want to uh, up the price on this one and sell it for $3.55 instead of the $2.85 stainless steel price for weapons and tools. Um, and I think that's going to negatively impact this Thompson Arna. So overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in it. The other ones are sitting slightly above um, their stainless steel price. Um, and I think this top Sanana will probably sit around about $3.50. So overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in it. I don't think the banana set really has that high of a demand, and I don't really understand why it has that price tag above cent store price. Iron sights are garbage. Um, skin's pretty basic, but I mean, if you like the banana set, then of course you'll like this skin. Um, yeah, I'm not going to recommend investing in it. Um, and finally, we have the porcelain large wood box going for $3.55. This is a continuation of the porcelain set. And we have had quite a lot of just different stuff for the porcelain set. I think this is actually quite a diverse skin set. Um, we've had armor for it. We've had weapons for it. We've had a furnace for it. And now we, um, we might have even had doors for it possibly. And now we have a large wooden box for it. Um, I know the furnace is like $9, $10, something like that. And this large wooden box, even though it doesn't say it on the rest of the store, it does glow in the dark. And I actually think this is a really unique glow. And I actually think this is a really unique set. I think this is actually a sick skin set. Um, I really like the skin collection. And just the art on it, the fact that the art is actually shown um, via like the glow. So there's like uh, emphasis on the art while it's dark and you get to see like the gunshot on the side um, with the Metal Gear shooting the road sign player and then you've got the guy in full burlap just doing his thing I can't even really see what that is at the moment um, and even the end of the chest is um, like it looks like some uh, bucket helmet or heavy metal just looking at the screenshot holding up I don't know, something in victory. Anyway, I think that the glow aspect of this skin is actually really unique and the way that the art um, is still like portrayed in the dark when it glows, I actually think it skits. $3.55, honestly, I think you can probably pick the porcelain large wooden box up off of the community market for a little bit cheaper than the, uh, the Russellum store price that it's going for at the moment. Um, and if you're going to invest in it, that's what I'd recommend to do. But as a long-term investment, I actually think the porcelain large wooden box can make you money. As a short-term investment, just because it's going for $3.55, I do think that that is going to be pushing it. So I'd recommend trying to pick this one up off the community market with a buy order. But overall, I actually think the skin is sick. Um, but I'm not going to recommend investing that off of the Ross item store. That's going to do it for this week, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And remember, that is skits one. Why? 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 Why?